Okay, guys, today we are going to. No, the Rubik's Cube. Okay. That was weird. Anyway. So, the first thing we're going to talk about is these little centerpiece guys. They're like hanging out. They just. They never move out of place. So, yellow is always opposite. Oh, wait. Yellow is always opposite white. Green is always opposite blue, and orange is always opposite red, so, y'all, um, the movements, I'm gonna do this, like, as a, you're, you're looking at this, pretend I'm not here, so the Rubik's Cube is just randomly moving, okay, so, R, R, I, um, L, L, I, U, U, I, D, D, I, F, F, I, B, B, I, that was weird. Okay. So basically, um, if it's R, for example, if it's just a letter, it'll move clockwise. If it's a letter and then I, it'll move that way. Also, R, I could also be like, if you're looking at a website or something, or uh, apostrophe. It's always just opposite. Yeah. Can bend my finger now. Feels weird. Okay. Uh, also, when you're pr when you're doing moves, make sure you have one spot that's supposed to face up, one's supposed to face down, one's supposed to face you, and make sure your things are posi positioned correctly. And don't do what my brother does. He goes like, if you're supposed to go like. You're supposed to do this. He go. Don't do that. Cause then you gotta go fix it, and then it's like not worth it. No, your Rubik's cube. 